This game was not pretty, but at the end of the day, the three-peat still alive for the Fairfield Ward baseball program. The Mustangs struck first against Staples with two runs in the second. Wreckers answered right back with two in the third. But to be honest, that was pretty much it for the next few innings. A pitcher's duel. Ward wiggled out of a bases-loaded jam in the fifth. Then in the sixth, the Mustangs pushed across what would be the game-winning run. Griffin Polly got it started with a single right back up the box. Then a couple batters later, Polly on third. Wacky play. Pass ball, wild pitch, whatever you want to call it. The catcher couldn't find it. And Polly able to score to make it 3-2. And that would be the final score. Ward able to nail it down in the seventh inning. Head coach Brett Connor after the game said, hey, it wasn't pretty, but we'll take it. You know, I was a little unhappy that we gave those two runs back. We got to hold on to the momentum. But I'm just really proud of the way they finished the game. Um, you know, we've had five losses on the year, and they're one-run losses, and we just didn't finish. We gave in at times, um, and I'm proud of these guys for finishing strong, and that's why we're going to be playing Wednesday night. Now, who will Ward play Wednesday night in the championship game? We're finding out right now. Trumbull West Hill will have highlights, post-game reaction for you coming up at 10 o'clock. Nick, for now, though, it's time we do a little hot dog action. What could be better, hot dog and baseball? Who's got it better than you? Justin, we'll see you at 10 o'clock.